Hi guys, welcome to another one of my streaming tips. For a while now, I've been hunting around for something to display the music I've got running in the background, whether that's between rounds of Apex Legends or Valorant, or whether we're just chilling and just chatting. And I wanted something to display the artist with the album cover and that looked clean and professional at the same time. So today we're going to be looking at uh, Pixel Chat and we're going to be looking at Last.fm and integrating them and showing you how you can use those to display your copyright free, of course, music on your streams. So we're first going to go to last.fm and as I use Spotify, I'm going to use Spotify as the example, but it does work for other platforms. Basically, we're going to go to last.fm, make a free account, go into the settings, connect our Spotify account, and then activate the live scrubbling. This basically allows last.fm to keep track of the, the, the music that you're playing on your stream. And then guys, we're going to go to pixelchat.tv and create our overlay. And, and connect last.fm to pixel, pixelchat.tv. Pixelchat.tv is basically a different type of overlay generator. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna log in, again, connect your Twitch account. We're gonna go to the overlay section. We're gonna create a new overlay and you're gonna cre create the now playing overlay. Now already you're gonna hit the settings area and it's gonna have a range of settings um, from the title um, to the overlay description, which is very helpful for you so you're gonna understand what you can use it with. And then you're going to have a range of options from different size, color, round edges, square edges, and a whole section of that. So you're going to go through those, test it out. To connect last.fm to pixel.chat, well, you're going to go scroll down to the bottom and type in your username exactly as it is on last.fm. And then what will happen is, is pixel.chat, pixelchat.tv, sorry, will then start displaying what you're now playing on Spotify if you hit, if you hit Spotify and play it. Um, what you then do is once you've created the size you want and the look you want with that professional overlay, you can even, you know, how long it wants to be up for. If you want a command so people can actually type in exclamation mark song, something like that in chat, you can do that as well and it'll also pop up. Um, is you're going to go up to the top and you're going to connect. You, what we're going to do, we're going to go to now playing. You're going to open the overlay in a new tab, copy that URL and put that URL and you're going to pop that into a browser source on OBS. So guys, I hope you found that video helpful. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll leave all the links to all the tools we used just below as well. If you have any further questions or want to catch me live, I am on Twitch three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, and if you do need any copyright free music, you can grab that from the messhall.co.uk. There's download links and links to different platforms to play it on as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.